All right, guys, I'm excited for this one today. You can see in front of me the black FX1s. We already had the trimmer, but we're gonna talk about it just a little bit in today's video. And I gotta shout out Fort Worth Barber Supply, guys. Babeless sent me the gold set, but you guys know I rock with the black on black. They sent them over for your boy. So we're gonna open them up and check them out today. Probably gonna be a little bit quicker of a review because I've already done the gold and it is exactly the same aside from the color. So if you guys wanna see the gold video, I'll link it at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and flip these around and open them up. All right, so we're gonna start with the black FX, the FX Clipper, you guys can see black FX. And moving forward, guys, Guys, this logo up in the corner is what's gonna signify that it is the FX1. So it is just called the Black FX. This right here and this little label down here signifies that this is the FX1 version. So I wasn't sure what they were gonna call it when they first came out, but there's your answer. So Babelist Pro at the bottom. FX1, one battery, unlimited tools. The new FX1 system is a one battery system compatible with all FX1 tools. Here's a few things on the side here, but we're gonna go ahead and flip it over because it is all on the back. It says Black FX all metal interchangeable battery clipper with new black titanium metal injection molded M MIM fade blade. So I'll show you guys that when we get it out. If you haven't seen it yet, it is a new blade from Babelist and it is phenomenal. New M1 brushless motor. Again, significant improvement, guys. Way quieter than the old FX's. That's a complaint we get a lot of the times on the FX clippers and the trimmers. And this is so much smoother and quieter. And I actually just took apart one of my new silver FX's with it and put it in my customs because it is so much better. New interchangeable lithium battery pack with two and a half hours of runtime. And then you can swap the battery. So you get two and a half hours on one battery, take it out immediately swap it for a new battery. Kind of like the Snap FX, but a little bit new and improved. New five to 10 locking stretch taper arm, new improved all metal housing with an ergonomic finger rest, removable hair pocket door, and neural metal barbell grip. So one downfall, not really a downfall. I actually been using the gold ones and I love them, but the rubber grip is what made the boost so awesome and have been my favorite in so long. But I will tell you guys, I believe I found out that these are gonna be coming out with the rubber grips, hopefully in the near future, cause your boy's gonna need that black grip on this FX1. New tapered end cap with hidden hanging hook, dual voltage charging base and battery includes six comb attachments. So let's go ahead and flip it over, take it out. These are a little bit hard to get out. I think you gotta take this paper out first. Got this little clear piece here. Yeah, there we go, there's that. Pop the battery out, the charging base. Take this out. So here we have the premium guards there in gunmetal. Pretty dark, yeah, I guess it's the gunmetal, same as I had before. There's the one, the half. I'll go ahead and show you guys this because I did not know that these came out. I missed it in my gold one. But this is the new blade cover and it is a premium clip. So the old one was a cheap, thin one. I don't have one handy, but these are super sick. I just traveled a week ago and I took mine with this and it's basically a guard, but it has no openings at the top. So premium guards with the gunmetal. We do have all the way up to six, I believe it said. We have a USB-C cord from a regular USB. You guys can use whatever USB-C cord you have laying around. New cam follower, screwdriver, clipper brush, clipper oil, and here's the hub. So a lot of things don't come with the hub or the brick or whatever you wanna call it to plug into the charger, but these do. Now I already have three of these charging bases on my station, and again, these batteries are all the same, so I'm not gonna get that out, but we are gonna save the extra battery. Don't need the cord, and we will use the guards, so we'll leave them out. All right, so here is the clipper. I'm not gonna take the sticker off yet, but I absolutely will when we get done with this video because that's kind of ugly on the front. Just tells you what to do before you start using it. And there's adhesive on it, so I have to clean it. And this is matte, I don't even wanna go there right now. So you guys can see nice and sharp matte black finish. A Little bit shinier on the neural metal handle down here. We do have the removable pocket cover to clean inside, which is just like the snap effect. Magnets back on. Here is the stretch arm, nice and smooth taper lever, five detent is what they call it, five detent lever. Basically the detent means locking uh, intervals basically. So the locking clicks are the five detent lever and it is the extended lever. So the old ones did not open up this much. These are definitely new and improved. We do have the neural metal grip and I'll go ahead and show you guys the battery goes in. You take the arrow, line it up and click it in. Now you guys can click the battery and see, you see there's three lights lit up and one empty. That means that it is 75% charged and you push this red button on the back and the battery pulls out and you can swap it out for another one. Now here is the MIM blade. I hope you guys can see it. It is like a fade blade at the front with a little taper and it has these grooves in it. Now this thing cuts super short. These aren't really zero gap, but you can zero gap them. And if you guys do wanna put these blades on any other clippers, you do have to use these flat screws like you see here that are off any of the clippers with the wedge blade. So make sure you use those screws if you do swap a blade. But you guys can see it here and this blade is absolutely phenomenal. And so is this clipper overall. So you guys can see it super sleek matte black 
go ahead and pull the trimmer over. You guys can see the pair together. Go ahead and tell you guys about the trimmer real quick. Like I said, I already got it before. I didn't do a full unboxing. It is the same as the gold. So if you guys wanna see the actual box, I cannot find mine anywhere, but I did read the box for the gold one in the video. So a lot of the same things here, removable battery, removable pocket cover at the top. It does have a DLC 2.0 blade, red button to eject the battery. I did not show you guys on the clipper, but here is our hanging hook. You can just pop it out, pop it back in. Now, I don't know who uses hanging hooks anymore. If you guys do in your shop, comment down below. I don't know if I'll get any comments that people use it, but apparently somebody still does because it was important enough to implement and it is a lot better of a design than what was on the traditional FX or the skeleton. Here's the power switch at the front. We already talked about that and the blade. So that's pretty much it. There is a finger rest here. I didn't really look, but yeah, there is one on the clipper as well. Not quite as significant. You can't see it as well, but you guys can see here, nice matching set. These ones look a little shinier. I've been using them. So they got a little grease on them, but you guys can see absolutely love the matte black. I also just got the lithiums and I don't know which video is going to come out first, but if you guys aren't subscribed, stay tuned because we got some more matte black stuff coming or go back and watch the other one if it dropped first. Well, let's get these out of the way and check out the shaver. So of course, same thing here on the front, same thing here on the side. We got some stats on the side here and we'll go ahead and read the back. So black FX all metal interchangeable battery shaver with an N1 brushless motor. So same motor, it does 10,000 RPM. So super strong for a shaver. And let me tell you, I've been using the gold one. Phenomenal. Interchangeable lithium battery pack with four hours of runtime for the shaver. It does have a pivoting foil head with locking feature. I'll show you guys that when we get it out. It does have the offset double foil like standard. It has black titanium foils and dual counter cutting blades. And I just noticed all this stuff says new guys because this shaver is absolutely new from Babyliss. Nothing like it before. The handle is like a skeleton. It's actually identical to the skeleton, but it has the dual foil at the top. New ergonomic all metal housing with magnetic foil cap. It does have the knurled metal barbell grip, taper end cap with hidden hanging hook, same as the other, and dual voltage charging base and battery. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Same thing here, take this paper out. It looks nice, but it makes it a little more difficult to get it out. Take that out, set it to the side, and the battery. So pretty much same thing here, guys. Here is the USB cord, the brick or the dock, not the dock, the brick or the hub, I guess I call it, clipper brush. And here's a little instruction on the bottom. I did not see this on the other ones. Just shows you how to line up the battery and make sure you do it right, because it will get stuck if you don't do it right. The same thing here, all we're gonna use is the shaver and the battery. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop the battery in, line up the arrows, and here is the shaver. So we'll take the cap off. You guys can see the double foil on the top. It does have the black hypoallergenic foils. So you can see on the back here is the switch and the lock symbol is here unlocked is here. We click it to the left and then we have a little bit of swivel here. So not too much, but it will allow you to move around on the face a little better or around head and just kind of pivot around as you go. You guys just pinch the sides. You can pull the top off to clean underneath or swap the foils or uh, the blades, I guess those would be called. Here's the power switch on the front. Same thing here, arrow for the battery, neural metal grip. I didn't show on the other ones, but there is a gloss black FX1 logo on the sides and our lock again. Honestly, guys, I've just been keeping it locked on the gold one. I don't really ever change it. I don't do a lot of head shaves or face shaves and it's worked fine for the side of the head. Here's our eject button at the back, the red button, pull it out, make sure it's lined up, stick it back in, and there's our hanging hook. So that is pretty much it, magnetic top. There is the shaver. Go ahead and bust the bundle back out. You guys can see it there, super sleek. We gotta get this sticker off so it looks a little better. But we got the all black FX1s. I'm super stoked for it. Like I said, shout out to Fort Worth Barber Supply for hooking your boy up. And of course you guys can get any of this stuff at babylesspro.com and everything else that I need from combs to clippers to brushes, anything I might need for my station and for a haircut or for anything like that, I can get at fortworthbarbersupply.com, fwbarbersupply.com, and code Sean Cuts Hair will save you guys 10% there, so go check it out. But let's get this stuff charging, and actually, the beauty of this is I don't have to get it charging because I got batteries ready over there. We'll go ahead and throw some batteries in these and test these things out. All right, guys, I got JT in the chair. We're gonna do a high taper using the whole black FX1 set. Now, these trimmers right here are hitters, so I already know I'm gonna have a problem getting this bald line out. We'll have to use them to do that, but I always follow my same steps. Go ahead and bald out. I am gonna use one of the UV shavers, and I just did the other side of his head using the new matte black lithiums and the double foil shaver. So if you guys wanna see that video, I don't know if this one's gonna come out first. So if that one's came out, I'll post it down below and you guys can check it out. And if it hasn't, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. We use a single foil on this side and really the double foil, the single foil, they're both super strong. You could do a whole ball fade with this, no problem. Now I'm gonna come in lever all the way open. These are the FX1, FX Clipper. This is the matte black version. You guys have seen me using the gold. These are gonna operate exactly like the gold, but you guys know 
I really like that matte black, but this new N1 motor is so quiet. You really hear the crunch. The MIM blade is serious. You guys know on my FXs, I always use them with a taper blade and they would not take a bald line out. So this MIM blade is so short, no issue taking a bald line out. One of my favorite things about them. And that goes for the low pro, the gold, the black, any of these new FX1s, that MIM blade is serious. And I would imagine that you'll be able to get it soon if you wanna buy it just by itself. Now guys, you do have to use the screws off of a clipper with a wedge blade. So you can't use your traditional FX screws or you will not be able to adjust the blade correctly. Now here are the premiums in the black and gum metal, looking super sleek with the matte black FX1. Now I'm gonna use my open one, go up another about a half inch. We're gonna keep this pretty tight. So it is a high taper, but we don't wanna go too high. He's got a lot of hair up above that we wanna leave. We'll just bump this line up slightly and we'll go ahead and work our way down and take this last line out at the very end. Now I'm gonna jump all the way to the number four. We're gonna start to blend into this length that's up here at the top. I don't know exactly what the length is, but I know a number four is pretty forgiving. I can kind of flick out. And we just wanna blend in. I know it's not gonna to touch this line, but I just wanna set all this as a four. Then we'll work our way down to a three and a two and take this last line out with the one and a half. All right, we got a pretty detailed. Now the last guard we're gonna use is the half guard, half open. He got a little tricky hair here, and he had a hat on earlier, so don't judge me by some of these dark lines up here. We're gonna style it when we're done, but I just wanna show you guys kind of the power of these clippers. Now we'll come in and line up his vertical bar. We'll clean up his front hairline as well, and then we will line up down the back of the neck. All right, that is it for the FX1 matte black. High taper, oh my God, JT. Nice sharp lines, nice clean blend. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. I forgot to use the shaver. I use the UV shaver, but we'll talk about it here in a second. All right, guys, that is it for my review and unboxing on the matte black FX1s. You guys already know what I'm gonna say. Probably my favorite clipper from Babyliss thus far. I definitely already love the other FX1s, the gold set and the low pros, but you know I rock with the matte black. These things are just amazing. So I just got the matte black lithiums as well. That is gonna be my setup moving forward, the black FX1s and the lithium in the matte black with the blue blades. So on the clipper, obviously guys, nice matte black look. We got the lid that comes off to clean it, battery. The blade is amazing and the matte black is super fire. This thing is so quiet. Definitely a huge improvement from the original FX. And the trimmer, guys, phenomenal. Definitely a great upgrade. Like I said, the only thing it's missing is the rubber grip. But same thing, we got the pocket cover, we got the battery, the pull hook at the bottom, eject button, and the DLC 2.0 blade is okay. It's not my favorite, but you guys can adjust it to get it to hit pretty well. And these things are improved as well. Much more quiet than your standard. 
and the N1 brushless motor is just phenomenal. So clipper and trimmer, both amazing. Like I said, the matte black, the FX1 with the batteries, absolutely my favorite set of clippers from Babyliss so far. And the shaver, guys, absolutely phenomenal. I don't know about you, but when I first saw it, I was thinking, ain't no way I'm using that. I'm used to that traditional box shaver. And I didn't think I was gonna like this handle with a double foil, but let me tell you guys, it is phenomenal. Basically, the reason I think I like it better is when you're going like around the ear, right? If you're holding the double box foil and trying to get here, your finger's kind of in the way, the bulky foil is kind of in the way. Now with this, you can hold it way down on the handle and you can get in there and you can ball out behind the ear. So absolutely phenomenal. It almost feels a little more lightweight. It might just be the weight distribution. This thing eats through hair. The black foils are sick. The gold one's good as well, obviously, but no doubt this matte black set is my favorite set from Babyliss so far. And you will be seeing me using them moving forward on the channel alongside the new lithiums that are in matte black as well. And I kind of back to my all black setup. I went away from it for a while, but we're back to it. So if you guys want to check these out, head to babyllispro.com. Or like I said, my guys at Fort Worth sent them over as well. So fwbarbersupply.com. And I do have a discount code at Fort Worth. You can save 10% using code Shonka's hair. Now, if you guys want to see the lithiums, make sure you click right here and check them out because they are super dope as well. And I'll catch you guys next time.